Hi, ArcfieldWeather.com meteorologist Paul Doreen here on Thursday afternoon, June 29th. We're taking a look here at a visible satellite imagery loop across the United States from the College of DuPage weather website. And two things jump out at you for sure. It's this system right here in the Midwest, the middle Mississippi Valley, and over the Tennessee Valley, another system. Again, we're looking at the visible satellite imagery loop right here, and we want to talk about what I call the ring of fire. That's the perimeter around an upper level ridge of high pressure. And oftentimes this time of year, you get these situations where you get what we call MCS or mesoscale convective systems developing in this ring of fire, or even derechos. Those are long-lasting, long-lived lines of severe thunderstorms that can travel all the way from the Midwest to the East Coast, for example. Right here, we have two separate systems in this ring of fire. You can imagine, and we'll take a look at this in a moment, the upper level ridge is sitting right here over the South Central U.S., contributing to some very hot weather over Texas, for example. And the Northwest flow in the outer perimeter of that upper, upper level ridge is where to watch for these kinds of systems. Let's now take a look at the latest uh, radar loop. And here we go, very easy to tell where these systems are using the radar. This is uh, looking like a derecho, a, a very intense line of severe thunderstorms crossing from west to east right now over the uh, state of Illinois and out ahead of it over the Tennessee Valley, another kind of a mesoscale convective system out ahead of it. Again, you can see the rotation in this fashion here that with the high pressure sitting right here over the south central uh, U.S. and winds flow clockwise around those highs and radar echoes will rotate around in that wind flow. And this is the outer perimeter of that high pressure system. Well, again, we'll see that in a moment here. And that's what I call the ring of fire. And these are systems that uh, certainly need to be uh, monitored over the next several hours and really over the next couple of days, this ring of fire pattern will need to be closely monitored. Well, let's take a look at the very latest Canadian model run. This is actually from earlier today, the 12Z run. Uh, as here we are in the afternoon on Thursday, June 29th. And this is just a look at the latest 500 millibar height pattern here, not the anomalies, the actual heights. And here is very strong upper level high pressure system sitting right over the south central U.S. Again, it's contributing to some very hot weather in this part of the nation. But this is the outer perimeter right here and the uh, wind flow is out of the northwest when you get to the outer perimeter of this high pressure system again winds flow clockwise around highs and this is the area that i call the ring of fire here and it oftentimes leads to these meso scale convective complexes mccs they used to call them now they call them mesoscale convective systems derechos and a couple of them are going on right now across the Midwest and the Tennessee Valley region. Now let's kind of jump ahead and take a look at the 500 millibar height anomaly pattern, namely because, mainly because it shows the upper level wind flow that kind of flows along these black lines here. And again, here is that upper level ridge of 500 millibar sitting right over Texas, Louisiana. And here you go, you have this uh, northwestly flow right in this region right now. And again, we saw a very powerful line right cutting across Illinois and out ahead of it, kind of a mesoscale system of uh, with embedded thunderstorms over the Tennessee Valley. And again, that's all in that ring of fire over the uh, perimeter, the outer perimeter of that high pressure system. Now let's move forward in time here and it kind of sits there and we go into the day on Friday, same kind of a pattern here with that high right over here over Louisiana, Texas, northwest flow uh, on the northeastern flank of that high pressure st system. So watch out uh, not only later today and tonight for those systems, but also for potential redevelopment later Friday into Friday night. Then we go. Uh, into the upcoming weekend. And the curious part about this whole pattern is all of a sudden that ring of fire area uh, features an upper level low sitting over 
the upper Midwest by the time we get to the second half of the upcoming weekend. And that certainly can enhance uh, shower and thunderstorm activity over the upper part of the Midwest, the middle and northern Mississippi Valley by the time we get to Sunday. And it kind of slides and weakens as it moves east into the eastern states by the time we get to the early part of next week. Well, now let's take a look at the surface forecast maps from the 12Z Canadian model. Really, most of the models have uh, kind of poorly initialized today with respect to these systems out over the uh, Midwest and the Tennessee Valley. This is showing up here for the early afternoon forecast, and it certainly looks underdone here, underwhelming rainfall associated with that very, very powerful looking line of severe thunderstorms and really nothing over the Tennessee Valley. GFS model was similarly missing out on those systems as we begin this model run here. Uh, this is the, again a six hour forecast from this morning. So that's one thing to note is that the models are tending to poorly handle this situation in that ring of fire. But nonetheless, we'll move forward here and it kind of intensifies into the Ohio Valley later on tonight and then dives to the south and east across Kentucky, West Virginia. Be on the lookout for a potential uh, impact from the system over the upper part of the Midwest. And we're talking about later tonight into the day on Friday. Then we'll move ahead. And remember, we talked about that upper level low kind of forming over the uh, mid, uh, Midwest, the uh, northern Mississippi Valley, and here we go, right here. By the time we get to Saturday night, enhancing that shower and thunderstorm activity. Now this could end up moving due east like, into the mid-Atlantic region and, and enhancing some uh, rainfall in that area and late in the upcoming weekend into the early part of next week. This is the the late Sunday night, early Monday morning forecast map, a little bit of a low depicted here over the eastern Great Lakes and potential for some heavy rain in the mid-Atlantic region. Again, that's from that upper level low. So very interesting weather pattern, not only today and tonight, uh, but over the next several days, uh, especially in this ring of fire area, the outer perimeter of very, very strong upper level high pressure region that is now situated over Texas, Louisiana area. So watch out in that outer perimeter region. That's it for now. For arcfieldweather.com, this has been meteorologist Paul Dorian.